Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSets that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is the brand new Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Paleotrex. Now I got this guy along with Vertebrake who you saw in my last video and I was going to pass up on him because I really didn't think I dig these fossilized dinosaur Transformers but the more I started looking at them they're actually really really cool. Now the packaging for these new figures is kind of weird because you really don't see that much of the figure. You just mainly see his head and chest. Great artwork here on the package. This new yellow scheme theme, excuse me, really works. And I dig it. The way it's angled here looks great. You got Transformers, War for Cybertron Kingdom. You've got wraparound art like I just showed. Back of the packaging, you got Paleo Trex in robot mode, fossilized dinosaur mode, and he is what's called a fossilizer. Like uh, Siege and Earthrise had the weaponizers, he can break down and become weapons for the other bots. I'm really not sure how fossilized bone is going to work against a Cybertronian armored transformer, but we'll see how the storyline goes. And then here on the side of the packaging is the New Kingdom artwork. And I can't wait. I really hope we get a Galvatron. So now, without further ado, let's get this guy ripped open out of the package and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get Paleo Trex all opened up and out of his packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions. And just like all the modern Transformers instructions, these are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. He also comes with a trading card, a trading card slash sticker. It's got a really cool hologram, holofoil look here. You've got Predacon Kingdom Black Arachnia. And if you peel this back, underneath you've got another hologram looking decal with Black Arachnia, Scorponok, Dinobot, and Waspinator. So I think we're going to get some pretty cool figures with the Kingdom line. I'm going to have to get myself a sticker book or something. I'm so glad we're getting trading cards back. I love these, especially with the fantastic artwork that they've been giving us here lately. And on the back is the golden disc from Beast Wars. Paleotrex also comes with his weapon. This is a piece of his tail, so it's some kind of melee weapon. You can peg it into his hand like so this way, kind of a club look, or Put it in his hand like so for more of a sword. So either way, it's spiny. So looking at Paleo Trex himself, this is a weird looking dude. This looks like a character you'd run into in a dungeon in Skyrim or Dungeons and Dragons or something. This guy is odd. And I think that's why I like him. He is so unique. He is a fossilizer as i said so he's made out of fossilized bone i cannot wait to hear the story on the fiction of these guys how these guys work taking a closer look at the face sculpt face sculpt is really really weird 
nice painted eyes right there. Actually, the paint job on this whole figure is really cool. It looks like old bone. They did a fantastic job. You got the purple Decepticon, excuse me, Predacon logo right there on his chest. So I dig it. I like this guy. And another cool feature with the head, he has a battle mask. So fold this down. And he has like a skull look. And you can see his eyes looking right through. And that is a really nice throwback to the original Beast Wars Optimus Prime's flail. Check that out. That is awesome. Now that's actually my preferred look for this character. I'm not a big fan of the robot face, but I love this face right here. He looks really, really cool. Now articulation for the guy. Head can do a complete 360 all the way around, though it is really, really tight, and can look up and down slightly. Arms complete 360 as well. There's an elbow rotation. There is a wrist I don't know if you call that a wrist rotation. His fingers or his toes can move on this hand. Same here on the other arm. There is a waist rotation. Legs can go up and back, in and out. There is a knee bend and no ankle rotation. And that's pretty much it for Paleo Trex in robot mode. A really cool looking figure. I love the dinosaur, I can't talk. I love the dinosaur skull backpack that is sweet now let's get into transformation and transformation of this guy all you do is take him apart and put him back together so we're going to take off the weapon oh and one thing it, this isn't a part of the dinosaur transformation but i have to show this off you can actually perform a mortal combat style fatality on this figure grab his head and rip it and the spine right out <laughs> that is so cool i dig it but that's not part of this transformation Okay, now let's finish taking this guy apart. And you want to take him completely apart. You're going to pull the arms off. Once the arms are off, you're going to separate those into two pieces, upper arm and lower arm. You're going to take the lower legs off. You're going to pop off the waist. You're going to pop off this chest piece. And there we go. We'll get the tail over here as well, or the weapon. So now with the torso, what you're going to do is do a complete 180 with the head and bring the dinosaur skull up. The lower jaw does peg in to the back of the figure. It pegs in pretty tight, so be careful with that. Bring that up, and the head will fit in right here. And there you go. And that looks really cool. That is an awesome-looking dinosaur skull. Now you're going to take this upper arm section and peg that in right there. Then you're going to take this section here, which is a tail piece, peg this in, make sure the spines are up. Then you're going to take the weapon, peg that in. So now we have the main body of the dinosaur. Now you're going to take the thighs, which are now the dinosaur rib cage. You want to angle these, bring these little arms up and rotate this around so the peg is facing down like so. So now open these up and there are holes right here that'll line up to the pegs right there on the main body. So we'll peg in one and just fold this one over and it'll line up and peg in and blend in really good with the ribs here up top. So now we've got this going on. Now you're going to take these pieces, which were the lower legs, take the heel section, bring these down like so. And now on the dinosaur, you've got two different pegs. The instructions say to peg the legs in right here, but I think they work better if you peg them in here. So what you're going to do is peg this in, angle these down, do it here on the other side as well. And that pops off. Doesn't peg in really, really tight. So now bring this around. And so we have the dinosaur mode upper legs. Now you're going to take the hand sections, bring these down. And as you can see, those form the dinosaur feet. Peg these in to the upper legs, like so. 
and now you have this one is a pain because this little section right here is really loose get that pegged in fight it fight it i swear only when you're on camera so there we go that is pegged in there is both dinosaur legs and you're going to take the shield section and it's going to peg in right here on the bottom you've got two tabs right there that'll line up with the slots there on the shield so get those lined up always can do it really good until it's time to do it on camera there we go so that's pegged in and there we have dinosaur mode you just gotta get him positioned correctly here so he'll stand up he is very actually that worked usually he will not stand at all and that is a really cool fossilized looking i guess it's a t-rex and once again i love the head sculpt that looks great and the paint applications really make this look like fossilized bone and he just does not want to stand very well you have to angle him just right there you go now articulation the legs have a lot of articulation in and out there is a knee bend and rotation the tail it can go up and down he's got these little forearms that can move around as well the head up and down and the jaw can move and just look here again the molded detail on that skull and the teeth that is so awesome so there you go guys there is paleo treks in dinosaur mode now as i said earlier paleo treks here is a fossilizer this is the kingdom version of weaponizers so what that means is you can break paleo treks down and add him to other transformers as bone weapons and in order to do that what you're going to do is just take him completely apart once again so now that I have Paleotrex all in pieces, let's fossilize up a Decepticon. So I've got Runabout here. And what we're gonna do is, let's see, one option, you can take this section here, attach it to his forearm. So he's now got some kind of dinosaur battle claw. You can take this section here along with, let me find it. Let's see, here we are. Take this here, peg in. along with this section here. And this is now some big old battle ax. So now you can also take the thigh sections along with the upper thigh area, <clears throat> or upper thigh pieces. Let's see, turn these around this way. Angle those forward like so. Let's see, get that turned around the other way. So now you've got that. Let's see. Turn this around here so the peg is facing out. Flip those back around. You can attach this to his back. Of course, Runabout's got that big old backpack, so he can have like blasters on his back, and then you can add the little arm shield here. And then you have the claws, and it showed in the instructions that you can turn these claws <clears throat> into feet somehow, <laughs> and uh, it, it doesn't work. Or maybe it will. Hold on. I tried this earlier, of course, with a different figure, and it didn't work at all. So angle this back here. Oh, my God. Let me see. If this works, this is going to be nuts. Oh. <laughs> so, yes, now we have Runabout in Paleo Trex high heels. Oh, my God. That looks so stupid. <laughs> now, let me show you my favorite weapon combination. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to take the axe that we already had formed. Make sure this little section is down right here. Take the T-Rex head, take the jaw, and snap it into place, just like you were turning him into robot mode. Bring this section down here. Now we're going to do the Mortal Kombat move, where we pull the skull and spinal cord out. Now take the axe and plug it into the bottom or the back of the skull. So you've got this going on. 
So now we're going to take the skull and spinal cord, slide it up in underneath Runamuck's hand or Runabout's hand, and then plug this section in through the top. And now we've got Runabout, run, Runabout, my God, getting confused. I've got it backwards. There we go. We've got Runabout holding this massive, mega, prehistoric super sword. And it's, it's, a, it's a little top heavy. So yeah, you can do that. There's all kinds of options for this guy. You can even get really weird combining him with other figures. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Paleotrex with the original Beast Wars Megatron, Transformers Generation Selects Sandstorm, and fellow Kingdom Fossilizer Vertebrake. The Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Fossilizer Paleotrex is a really cool figure. I'm having way much more fun with this guy than I thought I would. I mean, he is a really, really weird looking Transformer. And in a way, I kind of dig it. It's something new and something unique. The paint scheme on this guy is fantastic. He actually looks like fossilized bone and that's definitely a plus. Not to mention how you can utilize him with the other figures, though high heel mode may not be used ever again. So there you go, guys. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Paleotrex. So, does a Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Paleotrex belong in your collection? Well, this one may not be one for everybody. I mean, I'll admit it. I was originally going to pass this figure up. But the more I saw him online and the more I saw other reviewers talking about him, I figured, what the hell? I'll give him a shot, and I am really enjoying this guy. He is a ton of fun. Yeah, he's weird as hell, but that's what makes him cool. And I cannot wait to see what the fiction is with these fossilizer characters. I mean, what would possess a Cybertronian to want to become a skeleton warrior? And yes... That's a 90s flashback for you. So yeah, if you see this guy on the shelf, take a chance. Pick him up. You may be impressed with him, just like I am. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any, in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I have a Patreon page. Once again, this is Patriot Prime. Signing out. Hoo-ah!